setting up a 60 gallon aquarium with Robin Sherry. Hey guys, just down this hallway, Sherry and I said it was looking kind of plain, so we thought, wouldn't it be a great idea for a 60 gallon aquarium? Here's our story. Hi guys, this is Rob, and this is our first video about a new project. So, this is gonna be the video you go back to a year or two from now and go, what were you thinking? So this is it. So, Sherry and I decided to buy an aquarium. So we've been doing a lot of research. So today, we're going to go pick up just the tank and the cabinet. And this will be a long process, you just don't, so, <laughs> there's more to an aquarium than just an aquarium. So we're going to take you on the journey of setting up an aquarium in our house and see where it goes from there. And no, that is not our aquarium behind me. <laughs> but the other thing is interesting is how to raise or set up a, a, a aquarium in Phoenix. And the reason I say that is because we have lots of warm weather and we have very hard water. So it'd be very interesting to see how it goes. I want to take the time to say thank you to Aaron Jamerson for passionate for, passionate for angels and Corey uh, from Aquarium Co-op. They both have really good libraries and so we've been <laughs> doing a lot of studying and we have a lot more studying to do. So I ask for those who see our video for the first time, I'm sure that there's folks out there, we have lots of other video channels and there's going to be those critics and if you can't be constructive and courteous please don't leave any comments. If you're going to be helpful, we'd love to hear from you. So we are beginners. We're just starting out. We will make mistakes and we will have our certain preferences that other people won't. So that's how it goes. So the be <laughs> process begins. There will probably be a series of, of videos to go with this. Anyway, so today is the day we go to Petco. We're picking up a 60 gallon tank. It's on sale and we that's what and it'll fit the particular area that we want to put it in, which is in our hallway. So here we go. <laughs> like I said, this could be the video you go back to a year from now and go, dear God. So we got this thing in the truck. We went to Pet Smart and they had a hundred dollars off, so we got a 60 gallon tank. So this is it. And we got a stand and we're gonna install it. Well, we're going to put it in the house and size it, make sure that it's the right size, and uh, go from there. Okay, we got this beast in here. There she be. So, this is the beginning of our process. Long ways to go, but the foundation is there. Okay, guys, we went shopping. Which is not good when you don't want an aquarium. So you saw our aquarium and we made a couple of decisions of what we're going to do. We would decide to go with a medium uh, substrate or gravel. Uh, the store we went to had what we wanted, but we wanted a darker color. So we ended up going with an aqua gravel and we wanted a blue. So if you look closely, we use a blue, green, black combination. We wanted something darker. And uh, we're hoping that kind of brings out the fish a little bit. So that was, <laughs> so we got 50 pounds of that. So then we decided to use a canister filter system. So we went with the uh, EM Classic 600. And the store we went to was called Aquarium Arts in uh, Phoenix. Did a really good job. We worked with a gentleman named Chris. Uh, he actually pulled the unit out went through all the process of how to change the different uh, sections of the filters. And once again, I'll remind you, this is our first video. Vocabulary will be limited to what we only know from what we've been exposed to. So this isn't a video for judgment. This is a video for fun. So we're looking forward to setting up a new uh, aquarium. So the other thing is we found out our water uh, is hard and has lots of calcium in it so we still want to knock down the chlorine 
So uh, we did add, uh, get this stuff to knock down the chlorine. Just bought a little bit to see how we like it. Uh, this is called uh, Dechlor. And uh, it's basically all it's meant to do is take out chlorine in your water. In this particular canister, the different kinds of media that you use to uh, uh, separate, uh, I'll just say for now, I don't know all the terminology, uh, a lot of things were going to be loose and so we bought some little netting and as we set it up we'll show you how we use this netting to help keep all of our particles from going all over in the filter and make it easier to clean. And of course we got a uh, thermostat went with a 200 watt we have a 60 gallon tank a uh, gentleman we worked with he was happier with this particular unit than uh, the other one. Uh, EM also had these thermostats too, or the thermometers, or heating elements I should say, and uh, he was happier with these, they seemed to be less finicky. So, of course when you have a <laughs> aquarium, if you look at ours, we have a little poster behind it, but behind the wall is white. So while it's still just nothing, we're going to paint the back. Now some people will put paper in the back or shiny papers and stuff. We're going to paint ours. So we bought some uh, Rust-Oleum dark, dark, dark blue. And Sherry wanted blue and I wanted black. So we compromised. Got a very dark blue. And so we're going to take this out in the garage and paint it. We'll probably take you with you when we do that. Uh, so we also know that we're going to need buckets. So we got these at Home Depot and some masking tape, a dog at once goes side, cinder. And anyway, so last but not least, we also took a leveler to our aquarium and found that it was leaning forward just a little bit. So we actually picked up some shims to level out the aquarium to get it perfect. And I might even overcompensate just a smidgen because we know 500 pounds of water are going to be pressing on these little things. So anyway, so that was the purpose of that. So generally speaking, we saw that the prices for aquariums at PetSmart was pretty reasonable compared to going to a regular aquarium store for getting started. And uh, yeah, everybody was helpful. The people at Aquarium uh, Arts, is that the name of the store? So Sherry's over here. Uh, they are wonderful. And so uh, I highly recommend we're going to put a link to their site. It's called Aquarium Arts. They're in Mesa. Almost almost in Tempe. <laughs> but I'm baseline. So I recommend go talk to Chris. Good guy. So that's what we have so far. And we'll go through the different processes with you. This is not something that will get, you'll be up and running in just a, a day or two. This is going to take some time. We need to clean our gravel. We have to get everything adjusted and set up for the aquarium. We've got to paint the back of the aquarium. Lots of work to do before we can even have a fish. So there you go, guys. Bye. Stay tuned for our next episode, adding substrate, setting up the filters, and getting the equipment ready for the aquarium. Hey, thanks for watching Outdoor Travel Channel and setting up our first aquarium. Please take the time to subscribe and watch some of our previous videos. Thanks again. Talk to you later. Bye now.